even know how to put it in one way. I don't know what I would do without it. I really appreciate you. Oh, well, She's going to get us started. Let me get that right back to Nicole. She said, I'm going to listen. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. Say, hey, everybody. Hey. Now, I like to get crump up here, so excuse me. Some of y'all going to love me, and the rest of y'all not going to like me. But that's life, right? If everybody loves you, then that means you're doing something wrong. Anybody agree? Hey, I talk a little fast. Sometimes you even got to catch up with me, but I'm going to try to slow down because a lot of people told me I need to. And when 100 people tell you something, I think you probably need to listen. So I just want to give it back to Miss Nicole over here. Miss Nicole is so incredible. I want you guys to know who, exactly who you're working with. She has uh, promoted to Emerald, for uh, those of you that don't know. So we need to give her a round of applause. Thank you, you guys. She came into this business, tearing this business up. I call Nicole all day, every day. Nicole, what do we do next? Welcome. 
letter that we're going to talk about. Um, when anybody comes into your organization, you want to welcome them. If you don't get people started right, then that means they're started what? Wrong, right? So it's either right or it's either wrong. If you get them started right, then you're off to a good start. You get what's called momentum in your business. They'll be able to teach the next person what you did, what you taught them, and that person will teach the next person what you taught them. But if you don't teach them anything, guess what they're going to teach the next person? Nothing. Nothing. And is that explosive growth? Is that commitment? Is that I'm all in, Melissa? Absolutely not. Is that mega income? Is that the cold money? No, we don't call it the cold money, y'all. Are you making the cold money? No. <laughs> but listen, so you have to get them off on the right foot. So anytime anybody comes into your business, you should carry these in your back pocket. I don't care if they folded up or rolled up like a newspaper. As soon as they you press submit and they give you that $99, just jump out on them like, right. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you yeah, yeah, your new business partner. Do you understand me? That's how serious I am about this welcome letter. This gives them something to do right now. This gives them something to do right away. These are directions. They are started day one. Not day two, not day three, not day four, not day 30. Not when they order ship go through and they ain't sold their first one, but right now, yeah, right? So they can make some Nicole money, okay? So this welcome letter simply um, talks about, you want to get up and read it? If you okay. Okay, so Nicole will go through um, and read the welcome letter. And you guys can follow along after I read the drawers. Take it out of my back pocket, y'all. <laughs> Congratulations on your new business and welcome to the team. We are extremely happy to have you as a part of our team. We have partnered with one of the strongest team and it works, the Wealth and Success Group. The, this massive organization has created an unstoppable movement and it works. And it is our yeah. pleasure to work with you so that you can have a long lasting and rewarding business with it works. To get your business started on the right foot, contact your upline executive to schedule your game plan strategy session. Does everyone understand what an executive is? You came in as a distributor, your first promotion is exact, okay? In preparation for your game plan strategy session, please consult with your sponsor to complete the following steps immediately, as this will enable you to maximize the time you have to earn your $120 free product. We all want our free product that first 30 days, right? Your, to earn your $120 free product reward and your first two wrap rewards. Everyone knows what wrap rewards are, right? Box of wraps for $25, okay? More profit on your racks when you get them for $25 a box. The first thing you're going to do is activate, activate your Illworks website. Does everyone have that website activated? Yes. Yeah. Everyone understands the first month is free, and from that point on, it's $20 a month, and it's set up as an auto ship, okay? Become commission, commission qualified and start making <laughs> money. Everyone understands what it means to be commission qualified? Be set up on your ADBB auto ship. If you are not set up on your ADBB auto ship, you are not in business. Schedule your 30 day game plan session with your upline executive within 24 to 72 hours. Okay, 24 hours. <laughs> Melissa gave you a little leeway, but she just said 24 hours. You want to get your game plan session with your upline executive within that first 24 hours. After you sign your agreement, one day. Create your list of 50 names. 50 names of people who you know. Not people who you think may be interested, people you know. Okay, don't, don't prejudge, because you never know what's in a person's mind, you never know what a person's looking for, you never know what's going on with a person's health. 50 people that you know, at least. If your list gets longer, that's fine, but at least 50 people. And this is so important, and I thank you so much for putting this system in place. Register for all updates and important announcements. All you have to do is text the, text the words, it works, to 292929. So everyone with your cell phones, just go ahead and set it up. You text, it works, the word, it works, to 292929. And that will enable you to get all updates. game plan session with them. I mean, really get into this thing, and when you're done, it should at least take you 45 minutes to an hour to go through this packet. And once you're done, when you get up, they are they are quick start. They are ready to go. They're, they're excited about their business. What are people most excited about their business? Now, right? When they get in today, right? When they 
they pay their money, right? I mean, you should do everything in your power to get that person paid. Because when you help enough people get what they want, what you want will be there at the end of the day. It's a law. I mean, just look at how, how the company is set up. When you help your new distributor get four customer points, you got paid when they got two, right? Exactly. So by doing what they need, by helping them get their four customer points, they're going to get free product. They'll flip that product and make what? Nicole money, right? <laughs> right. And then you'll get paid. So do whatever you got to do to help them get paid. Because I know I've done it. I mean, I go out and I'll stay out with them. I'll stay woke. I do whatever I have to do. And she's shaking her head because I'll be up. Yeah, we be up to get. I do whatever I have to do to get you paid. Because when you're paid, you're what? Happy, right? And then I'll have to call you and motivate you because you, you got your motivator, that green money, right? You're motivated, right? So do whatever you have to do to get them paid. Put yourself second and put them first, right? So we're going to talk about this. Let's get into this. When you sit down with your new distributor, we're going to go over the five reasons why they're doing this business, okay?
Now, we don't want the representatives to initial anything unless it's, it's true. Like, we really want this to be a working man. Like, I want you to believe that the police don't come arrest you if you initial that and you didn't do it, right? You'll be so surprised. People will drain you and they hadn't even gotten your business yet. First get in the business. First purchase your kit. Then start asking me about this and that and that and this, right? So that's number one. You're like, well, that's so simple. Why you put that down? But it's so necessary. Then number two, become commissionable. Become commission qualified and let's start earning money. Just like Nicole was talking about earlier. You cannot earn money in this business unless you become commissionable. Anybody understand what that is? You need to be, your, your BV needs to be 80 or above in order to get back in commissions. You can steal all the reps you want, you can buy all the reps you want, but you will not build a team, you will not build what they call beach money or Nicole money without being on 80 BV. You understand that? 80 BV or above. Now in this package you'll see there's a BV worksheet, which means it'll tell you the product that you're getting versus the, uh, the bonus value or the bonus volume that it, it costs. So if you're looking to say, okay, what's gonna get me to 80 BV? Then you look through there and say, okay, I need two boxes of wraps. So I know they're 54 BV each, so that gives me 108 BV. You're there. You're at 80 BV or you're above. That's what that means. And everybody that comes to your organization, they need to be on ABV or above. And you tell them, listen, if you're not on ABV, if you're not on ownership, you don't need to do this business. You need to be a customer. Don't be scared to tell people what it is. Because they're going to get in your business and they'll drain you to the last drop and they're not even on ownership. If you're going to work me, you've got to at least meet me halfway. That's what I believe, right? Is anybody here with me? So get on ADBV. Take this thing away from people. If you think you have something, stop begging people to do this business because there's so many people that will, right? I need you to internalize that phrase. Some will be your lawyer customers and some will be your business partner's distributors. That's all you need to know. I am the professional nexter, if that's the word, right? I asked my girl back here to make me a next, but next, next, because I will next you so bad and so quick, I'll be looking for a reason to push the so I hate, okay, I ain't gonna next you because you said it, but I will next you so quick because I understand that I'm going through the numbers. Somebody say, go through the numbers. Go through the numbers. Some will. Some will. Exactly. So you have to go through the numbers and don't get caught up and get so emotional with somebody. Well, she said she was gonna do it and her cousin was coming and they three aunties and their big fat uncle. Don't get so wrapped up in people. Learn how to next them because some will. If you believe this opportunity is for you, then be there and then people will show up. Create it and they will come. So become qualified. Don't let anybody tell you that they're not going to uh, get on ADBB. If they do, tell them, look, well, I'm not working with you because you're not working in the system. How many of y'all know that this system will create duplication after duplication after duplication after duplication after duplication? And it will create what's called beach money. Anybody can sit down and go through this packet that don't even know much about the business, but they know how to read. Do you agree? So let me tell you, systems create duplication, not people. Nicole cannot run around and run everybody's business. It just won't work. She'll be tired. She won't be able to create anything on her back end. But if she has a system in place, systems create duplications, not people. So when people come into this business, you put them in the system. And if they want to go to the right or to the left, let them. They'll be back because they always come back to what works. You just keep working the system. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. Go within the system. The way to get people off your back is when they call you with all these problems. I ain't making money. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. Tell them to pull out their packet. Which one didn't you initial? Okay, well, go back and do that. Then call me. And make, give them work. Tell them what to do. Get in the system because the system works. I didn't just create this system just off the back of my head. I created it because I found somebody who was doing something that worked and I did the exact same thing. Some people call it ripping off. <laughs> I like to call it growing. Listen, people, success leaves clues. Somebody say, success leaves clues. Success. Our heartfelt words and we take them to heart. I mean, I, I really do. And I'm going to run with that. How many of you know that you, you're never done learning? Right. I mean, you have to be coachable at all times. I mean, I'll learn from anybody. If you're too, but you're rich, teach me how. You know, I mean, I want to know. I'm not afraid to humble myself. I don't know everything, but what I do know is that I'm going to go all the way to the edge. Right? I'm going to be a winner or I'm going to die. It's one or the other. So that's what I know. Like, if you run with me, you're either going to win or you're going to, you're going to die. Anybody scared? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's either or. We're not going to be alive losers. It just don't work that way, right? I'm going to be all the way wrong or I'm going to be all the way right. There's 
no in between. So thank you so much for mm -hmm. that, Sylvia. We really appreciate her. Give her another round of applause. <laughs> so next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list of 50 names, 50 or more. I know somebody in here, in the back of the room, like, I don't know 50 people. If I told you I was going to give you $100 for everybody's name you put on that list, how many people you going to start doing? You're going to be putting people that you don't even know. I'm going to take number three off, because you know you don't know nobody named Boo Chica. Take that off. <laughs> so create your name, your list of 50 names. Now, your first few names should be people that you know, right? People that you know, people that love you, people that owe you, call them people first, right? <laughs> when I was looking for my customers, I called my auntie, who's my new mom, since my mom has, I called her. She don't even know what she's putting on. I could have put her in the box and told her to spin around, but she's paying $59 and signed up for three months because she loved me, right? And I called my sister, y'all know. Yeah. She owe me, y'all. <laughs> like, remember such, 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 such? You don't have to do that no more. Just do this. So how many customers did I have? I had two customers in two minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Then I went on down the street to my hackling cousins. <laughs> like, I know y'all believe in nothing I do. I've been trying to get rich since I was five. <laughs> but I'm, go I'm going at it again. If either y'all going to help me or don't say nothing else to me about it, right? <laughs> so I had my four customers. We Paris did the same thing. She didn't go put on the rap and dance and tell people how many inches she lost. She didn't even know nothing. We know nothing about the business, but we had four customers. So call people you know, you love, and people that owe you first. <laughs> Once you're done with those people, then you call the other people on your list. Then you begin to tell them about the opportunity. So create that have a list. You don't have anything. You're not working. The more people you show the opportunity to, the more people are going to be your uh, loyal customers ain't going to be um, a distributor. The least people you show it to, then you'll be the one who said, this don't work. This ain't working. I ain't making no money. This, this, this. You'll be that complainer. And when you call me and tell me you ain't making no money, I want to see your list. And if you got number four initial, and you ain't doing it, it's on. Say it's on. It's on. I don't know how to fight. I'm calling the call. So. <laughs> so number four, create your list. Number five. Let's see, where are we? Okay, number five, we're going to launch the business with a grand opening. Now, some of y'all might say, now, I'm going to listen. Why you do that? Y'all go ahead, I don't care. Because I was flossing at my party. Okay? <laughs> launch your party. I told my husband, get the camera because they ain't going to believe this. <laughs> Pass it right on the ground. Get the camera. They're not going to believe that I made $440 in a few hours. Because I what? Launch my business. Somebody say, launch your business. Launch your business. Call all your friends. All I did was went through my cell phone and I sent a message and the message said something like this. Send me your address. I didn't tell them what I was doing. I didn't tell them what was going on because I know the pictures and the bliss card speaks for itself. Had I tried to explain it over the text message, half of them would have opted out already. Like, mm -mm, I ain't sending you my address because you're trying to tell me something. Again, say again. Yeah. Right? So I told them to send me their address. Some people sent back, for what? Just cause, send it to me. So once they sent it to me, I sent them an invitation. And in that invitation, it said, do you want your sexy back? Because I got mine, you know. So now they call it. But y'all won't not. And guess what else my invitation said? It said, bring some money. Y'all know that, right? Bring some. So many people show up surprised. But if you tell them before they get there, then they'll know to bring the money. I invited 30 people. I think only 15 people showed up. But the 15 that didn't, they probably had what? Word of God out, right? Of course. So you stay at home. No, I'm joking. They can come and observe. So they came to the door. They brought the money. We had it set up. We, we collected that money. And then at the end of the day, I began to plus with my money jar. <laughs> So launch that party because at that party I got lots of people signed up, I got lots of loyal customers, and then the big the business began to boom. So all you need is a few people. You don't need a hundred people. You don't need a thousand people. You need three, four, five, six people that you know, and you need to teach them the system. And they'll know people, and you can teach them the system. And they'll know people, and you can teach them the system. And that's how this thing works. Systems create duplication, not people. So take these steps seriously. Really launch that business within your first five to seven days, okay? Everybody got that part? Okay, next we're going to bring up Miss Nicole. And she's going to go into what we call the race for Ruby. So everybody welcome Nicole again as she comes. Okay. Okay, step number six, race for Ruby. And what I mean is race to Ruby. Because if you don't know, 
you'll know tonight. Rubies make diamonds. Right. If you don't understand, it's okay. You will, once you're in the business for a couple weeks, you'll understand that once you get to Ruby and you learn how to create rubies, the next step is writing your own check. So remember, rubies are on the road to dying. We are putting together, well, I have put together an initiative to get people on that road to dying. And that's teaching you guys how to become rubies. It's a race to ruby initiative, and I think you got to check in. And what I want everyone to do is write down my cell phone number. 248-973-4600. Sound like a business line, though. Uh, <laughs> 4600. Yeah, that's what it is. You 248-973-4600. If you want to be a part of this initiative, text me and let me know. But what the Race to Ruby initiative is, is you're going to be made accountable for doing things that you should be doing already. <clears throat> the first thing is going to be being set up on your ABB auto ship. This is about the what, 20th time you didn't heard of that tonight? <laughs> we'll probably hear it another 20 more times. Because in order for you to make your money, your beach money, as Melissa says, you need to be set up on your ABB auto ship. Number two, and these are in no particular order. You just need to make sure that you're doing these things. Have at least 500 list cards. If, any, if you don't have list cards, you need to give your sponsor tonight so you can arrange to get list cards. You want to be handing out at least 10 list cards a day. At least. I say go 20, but at least 10 list cards a day. You want to be rocking 7 to 10 people a week. You want to be sharing opportunity with at least 10 people a week. And I don't know if everyone has a success from home magazine. If you don't have it, it's on newsstands now. Use it as a marketing tool for your business. When you're, when you're discussing the business, the opportunity, use it. Communicate with your upline movie. And if you don't know who your upline movie is, just speak with your sponsor and they should be able to tell you. Communicate with your upline movie at least once a day. A quick text. You don't have to have a long, drawn out conversation. Just let them know what you did that day pertaining to your business, to promote your business. Create a dream board. Everyone should have a dream board. Everyone should, and your dream board should have your whys on it. So, you know, how, how Melissa explained to us how our, we should be passionate about our whys. If your why doesn't make you cry, it's a lie. That should be all over your dream board. You should have a brag book. It's around here. Here it is. I can't, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. Your brag book is a tool that you should not leave home without. Your rap bag and your brag book. Because this is going to market your business visually. Sometimes a person can't understand what you're trying to get across to them when you're just trying to explain it through words. But pictures don't <coughs> lie. Have your brag book to share with your potential customers, your potential distributors. Everyone on that on that list of names, you should be have a brag book to share with them. You are going to have to attend all meetings. All meetings. A lot of knowledge this year in those meetings, you guys. A lot of knowledge. I talked to Sylvia the other day, and one of her distributors was asking her some information. And she explained to her that she learned what she was sharing with her through a meeting. So attend all meetings. Look at all of the different supplements that we have to offer. Look at the skincare line that we have and see what you think will benefit you most and start using the product. All of those things are a must. These are things that you should be doing anyway. But in order to be a part of the Race to Ruby initiative, you have to be doing these things. It's all about accountability. And you can easily tell me, yeah, I get all of these things. Yes, I'm doing everything. But if it's not, if you're not doing them, it will show in your production, it will show in how your business is growing or not growing. And I'll, I'll keep saying this, Ruby is to go to dine. It takes three rubies in your organization to take you to dine. So keep that in mind. Well,
Hi, everybody. How are you? Like she said, I talk to anybody. I talk to a frog if it talk back to me and want to get wrapped up. My other friend is back there saying, yeah, please at the Marsha and Rosa concert. I'm sitting next to a lady like, here you go. She like, oh, for real? I'ma call you. Hey, look, anytime is the right place for me, and I love for people to give me the opportunity to talk to them. I'm an auditor in doctor's offices, so I love to get my hands on doctors. So as soon as they be like, so is this all you do? I'll be like, no. I'll be like, I rap ladies. I help them tighten tone and fart. They'll be like, for real? Here go my car. <laughs> so when I leave out of there, they have it. Um, and that's pretty much all that I do. That's, I just talk to anybody. And I'm doing really good at it. I actually, um, like she said, I'm getting ready to hit Ruby. And my business for me is running me over. I literally can't keep up. I'm putting out probably about 5,000 flyers, and they may not call this month, but they're going to call next month. I actually had one lady that called me. She said, can you come up to the tax office and rent me? I said, yeah. When I got there, it was eight girls lined up like I was doing hair <laughs> up in the shop, rapping girls. And so word of mouth, and then from there, I actually got, they sent me probably about 30 more people. So it's word of mouth and getting those cards out. Even if they don't use them, they're going to give it to somebody else that's going to come and get, get your business. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so what we're saying, team, is Marketing 101. You need business cards and you need applicators. You cannot do this business with the business cards alone. If you give people business cards but you don't have any reps, you're out of what? Business. Exactly. So stay in stock. You shouldn't have any less than eight raps on you at all times, and that's a low number. But we'll just start there. You should not have any less than eight. I mean, you be calling around because, can, can, how many raps you got? I got six girls, and it's only supposed to be one, and only got two raps, but her, her cousin, her auntie, Anna, and daddy all coming. How many you got, girl? <laughs> Keep yourself in stock. I know when you first start, you're like, oh, I wonder if this is true, so I'm going to just buy four. You buy four, 20 people come to your car, and you out of what? Money. Stay stocked up. Don't be afraid. If you're afraid, then those are the results you're going to get. You have to have faith. You have to believe. You got to know that you know, hey, this is my number. Every month I have goals for myself. This is my number. This is my number. And I'm not I'm going to do everything I can to get that number. I'm totally committed to this number. And when I'm totally committed to stuff, it's over. It's over. It's over. A little bit of faith will get you a long way. Mm -hmm. I'm totally committed to 10. I mean, don't go crazy. If you don't believe it, don't do it. Don't, I'm totally committed to 500 because I just want to be up there on stage next week. Don't do that. You know, commit to what you can believe. I'm totally committed to three. If that's what you can believe, tell your upline, listen, I'm totally committed to three. If you call me and you tell you you committed to something, I'm committed with you. And I will not sleep until you have what you said you're committed to. I'll meet you where, you, where, 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 you, where your commitment level is. And that's how your upline should be to you. Nicole will meet you where your commitment level is. If you say this is what I need, we're going to do everything in our power to get you there. So anyway, stay in stock. Keep those applicators, everybody. Everybody understand that? Nicole is going to go over, um, I call it the money bag. I don't know what anybody else calls it. But your money bag is the materials and the things that you need in the bag while you're out for listing. Just like she said, she went to a tax office and Pep and Betty, she went to a party. So you can wrap people at any time. But if you don't have your materials, you're out of what tea? Exactly, exactly. She showed you the brag book already. So we'll go over. Uh, the brag book is part of your wrap bag. You don't leave home without the brag book and your wrap bags. Number one, I keep, I buy 40 box, 40 wraps at the beginning of each month. I've had months where those 40 didn't last me through the month because I'm out blitzing and I'm out rapping people. <coughs> you need your raps. And you need the, 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 the supplies that you're going to need to put the wraps <coughs> in. Your scissors. Your scissors. Your tape measure. Your ink pens. Your markers. So that you can mark for your, for your measurement on each on each person. So that when you go back and measure after the 45 minutes, you get accurate accurate results. You're gonna need something to cleanse the skin. I use alcohol or a toner. Something to put the alcohol or toner on with. Cotton, and you're gonna need your saran wrap to keep the wrap in place. 
Those are just the key items that you need to wrap. If you don't have those things in your bag, you can't wrap. And there's one document. Oh yeah, you need sanitizer to cleanse your hands before you start wrapping. Keep your hygiene the way it should be. And there's one document that you want to put in every customer's hand. The what to expect sheet. Please make sure everyone that you wrap or everyone at the party where you're wrapping gets that what to expect sheet. That is so key because I've had people call me and say, well, this didn't happen and I didn't see anything. And of course, I share my story with them and I also ask, well, did you get a what to expect sheet when you were wrapping? And if they say no, that distributor is not doing your job because that you want for everyone to have the proper expectations from the product. So make sure everyone gets their what to expect sheet. Those are the key items. I have, you know, and as your business grows, your, 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 your wrap bag will um, grow. I keep my supplements in my wrap bag. I keep my gel and all the different supplements that I, that I present and also the supplements that I, that I guess do samples on. I keep, keep my Success From Home magazine. How about catalogs? If you don't have these, I recommend that you get some or from the, the work store. But it explains every item that we have to offer to our customers. I keep customer order forms in my bag because we're not always going to be in a situation where we have access to the internet. And even when I do, I still have a customer fill out just certain certain areas on the customer order form. So I'll have like their their telephone number and their um, customer ID number and their password available. The customer ID number and their telephone number you can get from your back office, but you don't have their passwords. And sometimes your customer needs for you to assist them with their ownership or whatever. So just even if, they, if you remote online, get their, you know, their password and their telephone number. And I also, even if I enroll someone online, I have them sign at the bottom of that customer 